What's up everybody, Sports Card Gamble here. So today I wanted to do a flashback video and take a look at a break that I did when I first got back into the hobby the very first time. This case was opened up in January 2016. I did not know a whole lot about anything and I didn't like get on YouTube or anything at that time. All I did was break boxes and see what I got. So essentially, um, I always liked Upper Deck products when I was younger. So this was uh, kind of like my first choice. I didn't even really think about the whole college aspect because this is when Upper Deck did not have a license, 2014-15. So it was all the college uniforms. They also didn't have like all the rookies, uh, just like had you know a few select guys you know i didn't even put that into perspective all i knew was uh michael jordan upper deck that sort of stuff so bought this product uh now it did buy a whole case of this product for 580 dollars big difference in price uh from you know back then to now even a product like this with with all the college uniforms especially a product like this where you can pull a lebron james auto a michael jordan auto magic johnson a lot of guys at least at the time so i don't know if magic johnson has switched over over to Panini or if he was exclusive I'm not sure about that definitely a lot of uh, super hall of fame guys that you can pull out of here so that was kind of the allure of this product anyways as you check the rundown here uh, like I said I did get a case of this you do get 12 boxes per case 10 packs per box and four cards per pack now I do remember uh, in this product you pulled just a lot of base cards um, you got a lot of duplicates uh, but that's fine uh, kind of expected but what, what was really good about the product was the the hits now they were manufactured patches that sort of thing and obviously in the college uniform but the the hit cards just look really great the patches look really great you know a lot of serial numbered stuff so it was a pretty cool product it was fun to open and i remember i just milked it like this is i, I never filmed any product or like i said i never even knew about like the whole youtube aspect of the card stuff so i you know i just kind of like hung out at home and would like open up a box and like probably milked it over a couple months or something but anyways just wanted to share the break i did post this break on blowout uh, way back when and I uh, just wanted to uh, kind of show what I got and everything and and like I said you know would have made a YouTube video but just never even thought about that so so yeah we'll just start with the good stuff this was just my post I'm just gonna be able to scroll through the actual post just because I don't I mean this is the only way that I can kind of show what I got from this break as you see there LeBron James auto that was super nice and then a nice mem card a Jordan mem card and then the big one was that legendary letterman that Michael Jordan autograph he went off a little bit I believe it was at a 15 so very short printed on that one uh, so next up we have a couple of these hardwood floor mem card type things which was kind of like a manufactured college patch a really kind of nice product for college stuff uh, you do have that Larry bird i mean some of these patches are really cool uh this magic johnson auto it was a sticker it was only out of three so again i, I opened up a case of this and i pulled a michael jordan a magic johnson and a lebron james auto so super nice out of that um i did I, I thought hey maybe it's just the upper deck product so that you might come across those more often but i think it was a pretty good break honestly um and then here's some of these kind of like not rpas but just like a you know a, a some are rookies but vets and the autos are really nice but just a lot of uh kind of the guys that upper deck had signed some kind of legend guys I, I definitely like these um letterman rookie autographs they were all serial numbered pretty low you see joe harris there from the virginia one uh, i think i believe those were sticker autos but very nice looking cards i mean those cards look very sick uh though i remember selling those at the time around 2016 uh they actually sold pretty well even at that time Time for these guys that you know there's not a whole lot of names here uh but i remember gary harris that one out of 10 i believe that one sold really well a lot of promise for those guys at that time uh but th those cards sold well even with the manufactured patches but i mean just look at those big uh patches they're really cool and all those autos are really nice uh the the guys did really well then there's that uh eric uh Patowski, i forget i don't really know how to say his name but i remember him in the 90s i think he's got a nice auto there there was another one of those legendary letterman ones james harden to the left uh I really like the Sleepy Floyd Auto with that nice E patch. That was very short printed. And then 
in the Allen Houston. That was a nice one too. Very nice auto there. So just really nice patches. Another Allen Houston auto. Jerry Lucas auto. I remember he went off the sticker there, but very nice looking auto. Nice cards there. A couple other patches here. Julius Irving, Bill Russell. So a, a, some legends there. Uh, you know, you got some rookie autos. There's Joe Harris. Looks kind of different now, but that was kind of maybe the best guy. I mean, you had Shabazz Napier. He had a lot of hype, but some pretty nice autos. I mean, you had a pretty good chance. I forget kind of what the breakdown was per box, but you definitely got a few of these things. And obviously you're dealing with kind of the best guys with these hardwood floor ones. There's an Aaron Gordon. I don't have any of this stuff. I, I think I maybe have one of the Jordan patches, but I've sold everything. Unfortunately, I think I might have this Jordan card coming up still. I think it's a PSA. I know I sold the Curry there, but that was a blue parallel out of 249. And then some last, uh, you know, some short printed ones there. I believe that John Sally's out of 10. And then the the uh, Stacy Ogman is out of five there. Uh, you had the wrong anti Tacumbo there. And then David Robinson, a floor patch so a whole lot of other ones those were the best ones and i uh, just wanted to kind of show you know this break it was pretty cool i actually just came i i just randomly thought about it and googled it and found the blowout post and i was like well i'm just gonna make a quick video so hopefully you guys enjoyed it i, I do wish i had some of these cards back i did end up getting that michael jordan in the very beginning graded uh it was a psa 8 and i think i sold that for like 800 dollars or something in like 2019 maybe this is before the card boom so i wish i mean even though it was in the college I wish I had that one back. That one for sure would have been able to sell higher. I don't check. I don't ever want to check after I sell like a bigger card because that was a big card for me. I just needed the money at the time and I didn't end up spending it on other things to make, you know, other card stuff to make, you know, other money. But, you know, I did pull that card, got it graded and everything. Uh, so that was a tough one to sell, but I got over it pretty fast, I guess. Uh, that was only Michael Jordan auto I had. I, I sold the LeBron auto. I was never like super attached with it just because it was in the, the, the high school. Um, uniform but still it's hard to get a LeBron auto I'm sure that thing went up I don't even want to look but um, I remember at the time it was like there was a couple other ones for sale and stuff so I didn't feel too bad about that one but the, the Jordan one really kind of hurt otherwise uh, you know it is what it is with the rest of the stuff nice cards nice to relive it and I'm glad that the memory is kind of documented here on file but anyways I appreciate it guys uh, thanks for watching this one uh, you know if you would please hit that like button and subscribe button it really helps out and I'll see you in the next video